Hello, Fat Grandma here. It is like 2.30 in the morning. I, um, and I'm, I've always been a night owl. When I was in school, my dad would try to wake me up every morning. He'd have to come in like three or four times and do things like steal my covers and flip the light switch on and off. And I would just turn over and go back to sleep. I did, I'm not a morning person at all, not even a little bit. So this job is actually <laughs> selling on eBay is more suited to me because I can stay up all night if I feel like it, listing things and taking photos. And then I just have to set my alarm to get up in the morning to feed my two cats. And um, if I need to go to the post office, I do that, come back, have something to eat. And of course I'm tired because I've only gotten like four hours of sleep usually. And um, so I end up taking a nap in the afternoon. And usually, you know, I split my sleep. Usually it's about five or four or five hours early in the morning. And then another three or four hours in the afternoon. Um, during the summer, it especially works good because I just sleep during the hottest part of the day. And if it's hot in my room, I don't notice as much because I'm sleeping. So anyway, I'm in my jammies. <laughs> um, so uh, I thought I'd share with you guys. Day before yesterday, I was in the kitchen and my mother looked at me and she's like, what did you do to your eye? And I'm like, well, I don't know. And... Um, so if you're going to get, if you get grossed out by looking at eyeballs, turn away and then I'll tell you when you can look back at the can at the screen because I'm going to show you what my eye looks like because um, you can't really see it with my glare, with my glasses, but it's my left eye and it's better than it was yesterday. Don't look. <laughs> it's, I should have told you sooner. Anyway, um, yeah, don't look yet. And so it's way better than it was. It was so like, there was no white in my eye. It was just red. And I was like, I don't even know what I did. I don't know if I sneezed and broke some blood vessel or if it's an allergic thing or because this eye, you know, it's a little bit red. But that's just because I'm getting tired. And so no big deal. But anyway, so that happened this week. Um, she's trying to give me eye drops and stuff, and I'm like, that's not going to do anything, you know? If, if I broke a blood vessel, because I didn't even know. I didn't even, I, I rarely look in the mirror, so I didn't notice. And, um, you know, I, I would never have known my eye was completely red like it was. And I had to go to the auction and pick up pick up some stuff today and have my sunglasses on and I had to take them off so I could look for my credit card to pay and the lady's looking at me and she's kind of backing up and I said I don't have pink eye I I broke a blood vessel or something you know and I know I don't have pink eye because oh you can turn around if you weren't looking at the screen sorry um anyway <laughs> I know I don't have pink eye because if I did, I would have woke up with my eye glued shut this morning and there was nothing. So, you know, other than just the normal eye stuff that you wake up with in the morning. And I don't know if I, my cat, if there was a cat hair on my pillow that irritated my eye while I was sleeping night before last or I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, and that's the first time I'm old. I'm 62. And this is the first time ever in my entire life that had, that has happened to one of my eyes. And I'm online trying to see what could have caused it. And it's like a bunch of different things, but whatever. Anyway, um, I thought I would just make a quick video. I hope it's quick. I, my videos are never quick. I'm sorry. Because um, I start rambling and talking about weird stuff and then... Anyway, um, I was thinking that I would share a couple things that sold uh, recently and um, some stuff that I'm listing now. And <clears throat> I've, I'm still all over the place with the stuff that I'm listing. I can't, 
I won't just do like I won't just do one thing like vintage collectibles plates and, and breakables and stuff like that because you know if people aren't looking for that kind of stuff I'm not gonna have any sales so as you can see my pile has grown back here I've got some toys that I got uh, they're brand new in the box one's a little ride on kind of dinosaur thing for babies that are maybe starting to learn how to walk um, I can't remember what else oh, some water blaster thing and those things I have put on Facebook marketplace because shipping has gotten a little crazy for things that are big even if they're not super heavy but if they're over a couple pounds and it's a large box the shipping can end up being almost as much as the item and that to me is just stupid so um, I'm listing them on Facebook marketplace and you know hopefully I'll get some bites people are looking at them I'm just not getting any action so you know it's um, and I put them for local local pickup only so we'll see what happens if, if I don't get any movement in like a month I'll go ahead and list them on eBay but it just seems ridiculous that it's like who's gonna pay you know $18 in shipping or whatever it was you know for something that's that's what it's worth I, I just I can't um, so I'm trying to focus on things that aren't as big and maybe they're a little bit heavier but the box isn't as big or maybe the box is like you know maybe 14 or 15 inches but the item isn't super heavy so you know when I'm picking stuff up now or when I'm looking at the auctions I'm trying to kind of be aware of what the shipping cost might be for that item because you know if I was going online buying stuff I don't want to spend as much on shipping as I'm paying for that thing unless it's something that I really really want and there aren't any others anywhere else you know um, so that's that um, I'm gonna put up here in the corner um, a Limoges serving dish that I sold uh, this past week I'm trying to go to my um, my paid and ships on eBay so that I can kind of run through what sold recently I sold a teacup and saucer and um, and that one's been listed for a couple months it wasn't anything great I picked it up at one of the um, I think it was the Humane Society thrift store and um, it's been listed for a couple of months easily maybe two and a half months um, and it sold for $12.99 so that was fine um, shipping was quite a bit on that because I when I ship the teacups with the saucers I use a 10 by 10 by 10 box so that I can put a ton of bubble wrap around each item around the plate and then around the saucer and then I put packing peanuts underneath and on the sides and on top of them so I'm not taking chances anymore with crap getting broken because I hate the post office so and they purposely do things to packages I'm convinced um, anyway next thing I sold was and I'll, I'll like I said I'll post some pictures in the corner uh, red and white polka dot salt and pepper shakers I have a thing uh, this is another thing salt and pepper shakers which is actually maybe not a bad thing because they're small and they don't usually weigh a ton so you know if I pick those up and they sell and I sold them for $7.99 I had them listed at $9.99 for a couple months and they didn't sell I think I paid like two dollars for them maybe and again it was I think the Humane Society thrift store so um, you know I paid two and I sold them for eight that's fine uh, anyway I sold the Limoges dish and I will post a photo of that up here and I sold that I got it in a lot a box lot at an auction like two Memorial Day weekend um, I remember looking at it it was Memorial Day weekend it was a bunch of plates and uh, a couple of long serving dishes and then this weird dish that isn't really I, I posted a picture of it on Facebook and I asked my friends what is this do anybody have an idea what this is supposed to be or what it's used for or whatever and nobody you know everybody had ideas but it didn't make sense for the shape of it and stuff you'll see when I post the photo it was it's a weird shape it has higher sides and it kind of I don't know 
and it's very pretty and it had like a uh, an iridescent um, lining on the, the inside of the paint was like an iridescent finish it changed colors as you moved the dish and it's Limoges, and it was from our early 1900s, you know, like 1905, 1906. And um, anyway, it, so I paid $20 for this for this auction lot, and this box of, you know, like, I don't know, it was eight or nine dishes or whatever. And um, I paid $20 for that, and I sold that Limoges dish that I don't even know what it was for $47.99. So yay! Um, so I've paid for that whole box, so now I just listed the remainder of the dishes with the exception of two because they're not marked. I have no idea what they are, and I have to try and figure out how much to list them for. They're really pretty, but there's no markings on them, So I, and, and Google Lens is not helping at all um, as far as figuring out what, what they're, you know, they're, some, they're a serving dish for sure. But like where they came from, I can't, there aren't any. So I'm just going to have to pick a number and list them for that and take offers, I guess. You know, the other thing that I sold were um, four vintage terracotta ceramic cookie press stamps. They're all Christmas and they were from four different years. Uh, three of the years were in the 80s and one was 97. These I also got in a lot um through the, through the auction, they were in with some other stuff, and I sold those for seven dollars. There's four of them, and um, I sold two postcards, two somewhere in time postcards that I picked up many moons ago when I was at Mackinac Island in Michigan uh, with a person. <laughs> He's history, um, anyway, and then. Uh, I also sold a Mario Kart Rainbow Road King Boo Raceway track. The box was distressed, so I, I, I want to say I paid fifty dollars for this racetrack. I bid, I paid up on it, and I, I. This is back when I first started doing the auctions, and I got very, like, into it. Or would be careful with auctions if you do them because. I did not want anybody else to get this racetrack. So I paid more than it because I had originally intended on spending about $25 on it because I knew they were worth around $100. Um, and so I thought, okay, I'll, I'll bid up to $25. And then someone kept bidding against me, and I was like, no, you're not getting this. So I ended up spending $50 on this stupid thing, and it ended up selling for $80. So whatever I made 30 bucks um, and I didn't even make 30 I probably made 20 or less maybe 18 or something after all the fees and crap so it totally not worth it but you know whatever I learned my lesson like I'll pick a price now and uh, and I'll put that bid in the max that I'll pay and if it goes beyond that unless it's something that I really 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 am dying to have I just let it go, you know, and whoever bids over me can have it, and that's the end of it, you know, um, because that was dangerous. I could have paid more than 50 for it. I think I kind of was telling myself, if it gets up to 50 I'm not spending any more than that, because I knew they were only worth about $100, so, um, anyway, that's the most recent stuff. That's the stuff that has sold since, um, since July 25th, so... And then there were a couple other things like a movie and some little Animal Jam figures that were still new in package. Um, but I sold a, a four pack. It was all different Animal Jam animals. Um, my granddaughter used to play the game. And I think she might still, um, I mean, she played it for years. And it's a really cute game. The characters are cute. The, you know, and you can talk to, the kids can talk to other kids while they're in the game and stuff. Sure, there's adults in there being weirdos, but they have language control, uh, so certain words can't be said. I mean, it's very, like, you know, if you even kind of think about telling somebody where you live in the, you know, while you're typing t to the other people, she got warned one time just from, she was, she told someone, I think she told someone what state she lived in, and it was like, she got a warning and got, she wasn't allowed to talk to anybody. She could still go in and do the game, but she couldn't talk to anybody for like, 
I want to say about a week. I can't remember for sure, but they're very strict with it. So, you know, it's a little bit safer. Anyway, I sold those. Um, so that's it for the sales. I'm going to pause this for a second and grab the other plates that were in the lot with the one that I just sold um, and share those real quick. And then I think that's going to be the end of this video. The next video I do is very likely going to be a vaping video because I have some things to say about it. And... Um, you know, people aren't going to agree with me, or they are, whatever. I have my own opinions, you know, but um, there's some stuff that the media is doing, and they're not being truthful. They're, they're, they're over, they're saying things that aren't true if you really look at the information. You can, you know, you find out that it's not true, what they're saying, so gonna do that video next but I figured I'd throw this one together real quick anyway I'm gonna pause this and I will grab the stuff and I'll be right back okay I think it's recording again hello um, all right so the first one this one is not marked on the back at all there's nothing like I have no idea when this was made or where it was made or anything but it's really pretty and um, so I listed this I think, I want to say, I should have had my other screen up here so I could know what I was talking about. Um, yeah, I listed this one for $14.99, but I'm going to take offers, and I'm figuring it's probably going to sell for around, I don't know, $8 to $10 plus shipping. So just because of the fact that it's, I can tell it's older, but again, there's no markings on it, and... I used Google Lens. I used Google Lens with all this stuff, and um, nothing came up at all. So, you know, it's very pretty, but there's no information for it. So, it's a mystery plate. This one, um, I thought I listed this one. I'm looking at my actives, and I'm not seeing this. Where is it? to pause this I think because I don't know where this plate went okay I'm a goober I forgot I did an auction on this one <laughs> so it's way down on my list because um, there's only five days it's a five-day auction I hate doing auctions don't like them but I did one with this particular plate because it's weird and I couldn't really figure out how much it's worth but I'm pretty sure it's worth more than $25. Um, so I, I started it at $24.99 and I've got the auction going for five days and whatever happens, happens. Um, anyway, so that's why I couldn't find it when I was looking for it. I'm like, where is it? Because usually new listings are at the top when you, you know, pull them up and you're looking at your inventory that's listed. So this is the plate. It's got the gold gilt on the edges, and I don't know if I'm, I'm holding this upside down. Okay, so I was trying to figure out what on earth that fruit was in the middle, because it it's a melon, apparently. Um, it looks like a cantaloupe, but the, the, the outside doesn't look like a cantaloupe, but whatever. Anyway, there's hazelnuts and blueberries, and then grapes and there's grape leaves all around the outside and then it's got the gold all the way around the edges and the gold is in pretty good shape and it is stamped so um, this one and I can't remember what the stamp was on this one I of course can't read this so I won't go into that but um, that one's on auction right now because I couldn't figure out how what to price it at this one um, not as fancy, and this one I, I priced at $24.99. All of my stuff like this I take offers on because, you know, after it's been listed for a month or two, if nothing's happening, then if somebody makes me an offer, I'm probably going to take that offer, uh, unless they really lowball me, but, you know, it's, um, 
after a couple months, at least 30 days, usually longer than that. If somebody wants to make an offer, then I'll go ahead and take it. This one is uh, Vienna Austria Porcelain. So, um, and that's the stamp on the back and it's signed by the artist. If you can see that. Anyway, so that's that one. It's not as fancy. There's a little bit of gold around the edges, but you really can't see it. And it's worn. This is old. Um, these are all from the early 1900s, late 1800s. So more in early 1900s, but um, I've done so much research on these things. And then there's this one, which is really pretty. Um, I never know if I'm holding these the right way. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. Nope, it's supposed to be like this. Anyway, this one is a Royal Bonn, and it was made in Germany. Franz Anton Mihelm. I don't know. I'm butchering this name. I have no clue. Anyway, so that one. These were all in the lot with the one that I'm going to post a photo of up in the corner that just sold. The Limoges. Um, okay, this one is similar to the one that I just showed you guys. This one is Haviland. This is also Limoges. Um, Haviland, France is the stamp that's on the back. It's hand painted and um, there's no signature of the Oh, wait, there is. This one has the artist's signature up here in the corner, right there. You guys can't really see that. but And I can't really make out what the artist's name was, but if they're signed, sometimes it makes them a little more valuable. So, and it's got the gold gilt around the edges. And this one's in really good shape. Um, like one of them had some crazing on the back, and I can't remember which one it was. I'll either see it or I won't. Um, and I guess I won't. It's one of those that I already showed you guys. Anyway, so that one I listed at $44.99. I know I'm going to sell it for less than that. But I always start out a little bit higher just, you know, to give me some wiggle room. Um, this one, I started out very high. But there's a reason for that because things that are similar to this and there isn't really anything out there exactly like this one. I could not find anything. Um, there's a signature on this one down here. Wait, where am I? Over here. There's a signature from the artist down there in the corner. And this is a Jean Pouvet, I can't pronounce this name, Pouvet Limoges. And the name, the, the signature of the artist is Bob Lick. Um, it's, you know, it, it's got the gold. And this one's in really, really good shape. Really good condition. And um, the stamps are on the back. Wait, what am I doing? And here we go. You can see them. JPL. And then the Limoges. Um, so this one has two stamps on it. Anyway, this one I started at $84.99. So I'm sure it's not going to sell for that, but it never hurts to try. So that's it for the, these all came with the one that, um, that just sold that is oddly shaped. And again, I'll put the photo of it up here. Still have trouble with that. Um, I guess that's it for this video. I just wanted to jump in and let you guys know what has sold. I haven't had a ton of sales. It's still moving real slow. Um, but it's summer and I'm still new. So, I, you know, I'm not that worried about it. I am trying to make sure that I get at least four or five items listed every day. Um, you know, so that's happening now more regularly. And um, so maybe that'll help. But... I don't want to go too crazy. There's other stuff going on. I'm going to probably go into more of my personal life stuff in the vaping video that I do next. So I'll fill you guys in on why I'm doing what I'm doing and why I'm not that worried about, about making crazy money with eBay 
there's some reasons I can't. So, because um, I would go a lot more full force with this, but I kind of have to watch how much money I make. And I'll, I'll go into that in the next video when I talk about the vaping stuff. So, um, I guess that's it. I hope everybody has a good week. It is now Tuesday, and um, so we have a few days ahead of us. But uh, it's supposed to be under 100 this week in Phoenix, so I'm very happy about that. And it's actually supposed to get down to 72 degrees tonight because there's maybe it's maybe going to rain. So it'll be nice and sticky tomorrow, but it's going to be nice out tonight. So that's awesome. Finally, Ugh, it's been horrible. Anyway, you guys have a good remainder of your week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.